Welcome back to Here's to Your Health, where we connect community to care. And before the break, we were talking a little bit about how organizations, individuals come together to help communities, help communities be successful through that aging journey. And uh, we were talking about Making Our Seniors Matter, which is a group that uh, has started in the Brampton area with uh, Glenn Cunningham, our guest, and, and his wife, and pulling together some very important individuals to that team to be able to provide the resources and the answers to the questions and the services that are very much needed in, in any community, really across across our country. But Glenn, let's kind of, you know, start with, you know, your, your vision. What what do you envision with this group? And, you know, what, what are some of the things that you started with and some of the initiatives that you're building towards? Well, maybe I can give you an, an example or two of, of what we've gone through with particular people, because I think that's maybe tells the whole story. We believe that if you prepare properly, that there's probably a better lifestyle towards, you know, getting, getting it up in years. And there's a lot of talk right now of aging in place. And it's hard to get a definition of what aging in place really is. People want to stay in their home. What is the definition of home? But just travel along with me for a minute, if you will. You've got a 75-year-old lady, lost her husband, but she's in a nice little home that she's been in for 40 years. She'd like to stay there. But we know that, and you folks probably know better than I do, the number of problems that you have in the home with falls and tripping and how much that can just deteriorate somebody's life so quickly. One of the people on our team is uh, specializes in going through the home and doing a report of what things can be done in the home that'll make it safe. So that's part of our team. Now, how do you finance that? One of the members on our team is the business development manager for Home Equity Bank. So we can put the reverse mortgage on if it's applicable. Maybe we need some extra things done to the home, a new furnace or some new flooring or a new shower, I think is probably one of my pet peeves because how many times do you hear of somebody falling in a, in a bathtub situation? We can finance it, we can have the work done, and they can stay in that home safely for another five years or more. Maybe they need some home care. We know of companies, we have companies involved with us that do that kind of thing. Um, so they've stayed in there for five, seven years. The equity in their home has gone up. The cost of the mortgage, because they don't have to put any money out on a monthly basis, so it does accumulate, but it certainly doesn't accumulate past what has been historically the increase in values. At the end of that period of time, if they decide they want to go into a nice residence because maybe health has deteriorated where just looking after the home is, a, is, is just a bigger issue, we set them up with a financial planner so that we can plan on what to do with the equity out of that home to help them last longer the money to last longer while they're in that residence. We've got downsizing people or people that come in and worry about packing and moving and what do I do with all my stuff? How do we handle the memories? Because that's a huge issue. We have uh, an appraiser because anything that we do from the real estate point of view with a senior, we have the home appraised. I do not do the appraisal. I have a third-party appraiser do that. That way they know and the family knows that we've got the right price. It's a third-party situation. We can have the home pre-inspected so as the buyer knows, but it's not so much that we're concerned about the buyer, but when s an older person is, is selling their home, they worry about everything. So we try and take that stress and worry away. Liz works with me uh, directly, and she's not a realtor, but she can go with the appointments and just sit and have a cup of tea while the appointments are going on. Again, peace of mind, a little bit of comfort for them. So we'll, we put all of these things together. We've got the lawyers in place. We've got the accountants in place. We've got all of the people that we need to help get them through. And, and it is growing. Our, our organization is growing because as the needs grow, then we either source people. What we're finding now, they're coming to us because there is starting to be an impact out in the community. And, you know, you, you mentioned something about, and, you know, I think it's really the term of, of life transitions. And as we, you know, it's almost like a timeline. And, you know, we have milestones in that timeline. But we tend not to really look at that latter part of the timeline. 
And, you know, you talked about the sensitivity around seniors' experiences, especially if you've lived in that home for 40 years. You've watched your children grow up. You may have, like in my house, down in our laundry room, where it's not finished, it's just the drywall. I have each one of, like my kids, growth chart. We just wrote it right on the wall. Those are the types of memories. Like, how do you take that with you? You know, and I know with my mom, my mom still lives in, in our, you know, um, home that we all grew up in. There are things that they worry about and, and, and small things that tend to take so much of, of their, their mind, their capacity, their, their health that they worry about that is so, could be managed by a group like, like your group. And it is different. You know, when I first bought my, my home and then when I sold that and I moved to another, it wasn't as big of an issue. Well, there's, there's, a, there's a, another big, big difference. When you're doing that and when I did that, we're growing. So it's exciting because we're, we're building and yeah. it's looking better. Yeah. When you're at the other end and you're losing some of your independence, mm-hmm. I mean, big issue now with the, with the driver's licenses. Well, when you're, when you're asking to go out of your home. I think the reason people want to stay in their home and we hear the expressions that we hear is they don't want to give that up. And, and they've worked hard for it. And they grew up through times when it was tough, went through some maybe better times, and they don't want to go back into yeah. that losing of, of things. They want, we, we're accumulators, right? That's why we have so much stuff to get rid of because yeah. we're accumulators. <laughs> but when we start to get rid of it and, and put it into places where it's of more value to somebody else than us, it's a big help. Well, I think you've, you've, you've painted a probably very common picture that, that we see you know, amongst us within our communities, our loved ones, our parents. And having this team and, and within you know, your organization and being able to provide individuals with someone, a trusted advisor that they can speak with, I think is very, very important. But what are some of the things that you have seen? You know, you've, you've been doing this for now 26 years. What are some of the things that you see in the impact of, of a change in somebody's health or even a death in the family? How does that, how's that affected your, your business over the years? And, and how is making our seniors matter the solution to, to some of these situations that, that people are going to come across? Well, I do want to say that my attitude prior to this was totally different than it is now. I have a totally different outlook on how I perceive those things happening where, you know, what is a change through to uh, circumstance or is a choice. So the preparedness is is really important. What I have seen, as I say, is, is probably the biggest thing is when something like that happens and the family gets involved, depending on the family, Sometimes they have some knowledge, but more times than not, the family doesn't know. So when dad passes away, mom maybe hasn't been doing the finances and the planning and that side of things. Maybe a son comes in, and all of a sudden, and, and we see this in, in the home, we see them look at them and say, I didn't know that. I mean, this is their parents who, for the last 60 years, have directed them in what to do, and now all of a sudden, mom needs help, and they're not sure how to handle that, and frankly, mom's not sure how to accept it. But that's probably the biggest shocker that that we've seen, is the family doesn't know really what's going on with mom and dad. So making our seniors matter is is definitely a solution that that people can turn to yes and you know just having those individuals that you you know that you have mentioned are is so critical but how about other resources that you're you're putting out there for for people because i think learning is part of pre-planning and so you know what are some of the things that people can do if we look at that timeline again and we push it back and we start at the beginning what are some of the things that people could be doing and and reaching out to your group for and and i know that you know, i've seen a wonderful um, newsletter just recently and and it's about knowledge it's about knowledge sharing so what are some of the tools that that people can come forward and 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 get from from the group well the, the newsletter again uh is is relatively new but we are starting to get it out through the senior community uh, through the uh, senior clubs. In Brampton there's uh, 52 clubs and we now have a contact spot for that for the newsletter. And the newsletter is, is fairly simple. It's, it's 
quite nice. Liz puts it together once a month, and it goes out through the library, through the senior uh, clubs, and uh, it's also online on our website, uh, BramptonZoomers.com. And then we have a Facebook page, Brampton Zoomers, that also a lot of that kind of information goes out to. Again, all in the working process, as you well know, this is, a, this is still ongoing. And for the short period of time, we've had really good response from the newsletter, uh, which, again, just like you said, it's, it's what's going on, what are things of interest to seniors, and a little bit of information on what different aspects of the, our group do. There's contributors from the group to the newsletter, and we hope to bring the same thing to our uh, website as time goes on. So, Glenn, if there are folks out there that want more information and they want to have that opportunity to learn and to maybe, you know, pre-plan and plan ahead, how can they, they get some of this information? Well, they're certainly welcome to uh, email us at uh, BramptonZoomers at gmail.com. They're quite welcome to phone us at 647-982-4052. Or they can uh, simply go to our website, BramptonZoomers.com, and many of, the place, uh, many of the things that are on there have places where you can ask for information. We have uh, all of our uh, people that are involved in our organization are on the website, so you can ask them a question. So if you need a question from somebody at Bayshore, just go on and ask the question. They'll get back to you, or if it's real estate related or financial related, whatever it is, we'll make sure that the professional gets back to you with an answer. Or if we don't have that professional, send a general inquiry and we'll find it. So you're helping the community, you're helping answer the questions, you're helping people plan ahead for the success of, of that aging journey, no matter if you're young, you're old, or if you're caring for a loved one, or if you're caring for aging parents. It's really a resource that people should be learning about, knowing more about. I thank you so much, Glenn, uh, for joining us and sharing the success of, of what you've built, and, and Bayshore looks forward in being part of that and going down that journey with the community in, uh, in Brampton. Well, we're certainly glad to have you uh, on our team, and we're glad to be here today.